Hey guys, I'm Rachel. So today I bring to you 10 hacks, tips and tricks that you can use to achieve longer lasting makeup and in the long run help you to achieve a flawless looking base in the end. I personally do not have time to touch up my base so I always include these steps whenever I'm doing my makeup application so that it would last all throughout the day. I know sometimes we're here doing tutorials and doing stuff and you know you probably don't get in depth all the time as to the reason why it is we're doing it so I'm here just to shine a little light on these specific steps that are tried and true, tested and works wonderfully so without further ado let's jump into this tips and tricks the first tip to achieving a flawless longer lasting makeup is clean skin be sure that you have some sort of skincare regimen in place i will also link my skincare regimen so that you can look at that um is that i you'll see you can click it to look at um my skincare regimen be sure you're cleaning your skin. You do not want to go over your skin with over your, your skin with, with makeup and your, you have dirty skin. It just would not give you a flawless look and it just would not last throughout the day. Um, I typically recommend after you moisturize your skin and have done your skincare that you give your, your um give your products at least 10 to 20 minutes to sip into your skin, to absorb into your skin before you actually go in with your makeup products. You don't do that and it does defeat the purpose of actually doing your skincare, your makeup products will just slip and slide all over the place and yes your skin does include your lips exfoliate your lips as well you can use your toothbrush or you can use some sort of exfoli exfoliator um, when you're actually doing your skincare this will just allow your lips to be smooth and create a nice uh, even surface for whatever it is you choose to put over top your lips and always use some sort of lip balm so your lips can stay nice soft and juicy soft and supple before you actually go in with your makeup products while you're actually applying your other uh, makeup products on your face, if that makes sense. <sighs> that was a lot. Now, if by chance you probably would have cleansed your, your face one to two hours before you actually are ready to apply your makeup, I recommend using sort, some sort of makeup wipe. Neutrogena is one of my favorite ones and Target's brand Up and Up makes a very good um, makeup remover wipe as well. I recommend using something like that to clean your face or you can also use micellar water. I love Garnier and Bioderma on some um, cotton round and cleanse your face with that um, since you already cleanse your face earlier. We, just, we still don't want to be cleaning and washing off face too much and strip your face of the natural oil. So doing that will also give you a clean base. And before you actually go in with your makeup, I recommend using some sort of moisturizing spray, something that will bring some sort of hydration back to your skin. I love the Mario Bidasco Rose Water Spray and I'm, I all, I'm currently using um, the Olay Mist. Um, it, it works, it gives you a nice luminosity and they, they contain very nice um, ingredients for your skin. Tip number two is using a primer. Now I have oily combination skin, so I prime my skin accordingly. If you have dry skin, you use a primer that is appropriate for your skin type. And I love multi-priming. So I do have oily combination skin, but I get oily in my T-zone, which is my nose basically and my chin, but the rest of my face is more normal dry. So I love using primer specifically for the, the different areas of my face. Number three is to actually set your primers that you just used on your face. So if you are of a oily skin type, you can go all over your face with the powder. But if you're someone who has more of a combination skin type like me, for me is my nose and my chin. Tip number four is always always set your foundations your concealers your contours whenever you're using creams you need to set the creams in place so that they, they do not move the powder just locks everything in place and you have uh, it creates a very strong base and uh, sort of prevents your oils from sipping through and when they do sip through your makeup does not crack and melt and just disappears on your face. So I already applied my foundation and concealer and I'm going to use a translucent powder to set that. And I also love to use a damp, my damp sponge 
to set and press that into my skin if you're someone who loves using a brush you just do you you use you do your preference but i love using a sponge now before you actually go in to set your makeup to set whatever cream or liquid you have used always go over your go over your skin one more time with your sponge to get rid of any creasing which usually happens underneath your eyes um, we have we we do have fine lines underneath our eyes so just go in one more time with your sponge blend out those fine lines and then you're gonna set with the powder because if you don't do that you just go, you you will just be setting all the creases that had um, accumulated underneath your eyes number five using a setting spray now that you have applied all the powders on your face your bronzer your contour powder you have used setting your face is gonna help to absorb all that powder It's gonna lock all those layers in place and that in turn creates longevity for your makeup and you also use your setting spray a couple times during your routine like um, between uh, steps that just actually helps to lock everything in more especially if you are of a more oily skin type that's a perfect perfect technique to use using a setting spray is going to help to bring back that moisture all that powder and everything took away from your face another reason why i love using a setting spray before everything else after i have applied my powders and stuff is that this step because it brings back so much moisture into your skin it helps your highlight to just pop even more when you apply that so set And as you can see, I apply a lot. I literally want to feel like my face is uh, soaking in this spray. It really just soak up all the powders. Tip number six for longer lasting eyeshadows. I recommend using a base and setting it again with a translucent powder or some sort of light uh, skin tone um, eyeshadow. This is just going to help the shadows to blend nicely. It's also going to make them pop even more and it is going to make your shadows last throughout the day with no creasing and nothing moving all over your eyes. seven is always set your brow hairs in place you don't want to be filling in your brows and in a couple hours your brow hairs are all over the place it's just gonna make your face look messy especially if you have sparser brows always use some sort of brow gel to set your brows in place tip number eight is for the lashes cutting your lashes in sections two or three make your lash application easier for you if you're someone who has issues that is something that you can definitely do so i have here a kiss number three lashes and i'll cut them in half and i'll show you how we do that now apply your glue on your lashes and allow the glue at least 20 to 30 seconds to get tacky first that is of utmost importance your glue has to be tacky before you actually go and try to apply the lashes if it's not tacky it's gonna just slide all over your eyes and mess your entire eye look up so always apply your glue let it get tacky and then you go in and apply the lashes Now that I have the, the sections on, I'm going to take my tweezer and squeeze my real lashes with the false lashes so everything is meshed together well. And there you have it. And I also recommend to 
use mascara before actually going in with lashes is my preference i just feel like using a mascara before um gets rid of any eyeshadow that may have occurred while you were applying your shadows some people like to do it after it's your preference i prefer to just remove all the shadows on my eyes with my mascara and then go in with my with my lashes it just makes everything look neater and Tip number nine is for the lips. Hence the reason why I said earlier to exfoliate your lips and moisturize your lips. This is just gonna make your application of your, lips, your lipsticks or lip gloss or whatever it is you're going over top with. I also recommend lining your entire lip with some sort of lip liner first. This just creates a nice barrier and also uh, creates longevity for whatever lipstick there or lip gloss or whatever you're going over top with. And it also helps to manipulate the color a little more. And also be sure to always have your pencils sharp. It just gives you a, a neater, cleaner line. And the last and final step to making your makeup last throughout the day and to end everything in flawless goodness <laughs> is using your setting spray again and when your setting spray is like halfway dried you use a damp sponge and just press everything into your skin again this is just gonna lock everything in place and melt all the products and mesh them together so that everything is seamless and flawless and long-lasting So there you have it guys, 10 tips and tricks to make your makeup last longer and give you a flawless looking finish in the end of your makeup routine. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that you will take from it. Hi, if, Hi, you're, new if you're new here, my name is Rachel. Welcome to the family. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. It really helps and I really appreciate it. Everything I use will always be in the description box, all my social media links, everything, how to book me. I am a nail technician here in Brooklyn. Also, while you're here, continue to watch some more videos i will link some right here and also the eye that you would see you can click that and watch some more and share as well why not so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next tutorial on sunday <laughs>